Good morning, afternoon, or evening, and welcome to Nancy Drew Danger by Design, where I think we're going to go see Hans, right? Yeah, Dieter. Was it Hans? No, it's not. It Hans was the great uncle. Yeah, Dieter. So, um, we'll go see Dieter and talk to him about having deciphered the uh, code. And then, I guess maybe the history person could also share some insight. Didn't she want us to call her um, when we found out the significance of the uh, the uh, red left green thing? She did, didn't she? So um, yeah, we could call the history person as well. It'll be dark in a few minutes. I'm going to head back to Jingjing's. Okay, I, I guess we're going to do all that the next day then. Day 7. And um, let's also see if Jingjing Jing has anything new to say. Hey Rumi, how's it going? Nothing. See you later. Take care. What about today's newspaper? Do we still get a different one? Uh, dissatisfied with their current pay and benefits? Yeah. Newspaper deliverers threaten strike. This is a new one. Uprising in the streets of capital city. Marie-Laure launches new makeup line. When Le Chateau Tunnel Flooded by Leaky Fawcett. Okay, let's see about this thing then. Dissatisfied with their current pay and benefits, newspaper deliverers all over France are threatening to strike if their demands are not met within three days. Representatives for the deliverers have been meeting with newspaper publishers since mid-July, but both sides report that little progress has been made. A strike by the deliverers last October interrupted newspaper deliveries for a week, ending when the deliverers agreed to a 1.5% pay hike and a 1% increase in benefits. This year, they're asking for a 4% increase in pay and a 3.5% increase in benefits. Sentiments on both sides are running strong. Last year's negotiations were a joke, said one delivery person who wished to remain anonymous. This year, we're older, wiser and hungrier. Let the publishers beware. A spokesperson for the publishers, who likewise spoke anonymously, responded, What they're asking for is just crazy. How are we supposed to reach a deal with them when they refuse to bargain in good faith? For the general public, however, the possibility of a strike seems to be cause for little concern. One man sipping coffee at a cafe in the Latin Quarter just shrugged. I get all my news from the internet anyway. Yeah, the internet was a thing already. By by the time this game was um was um being made. Yeah. I can't remember what year this game is from exactly, but it is from before 2010. That much I am certain of. It is some year between 2005 and 2010. Well, anyway. Uh, there's a phone here, isn't there? Yeah. 
So can we call the history person? Are they... I think they're on our, like, phone card, or... So, like, uh... 010119... Uh, 3013. Since we have a phone right here. Um, Lynn Manrique, 1559. 555. 6838. Modern European history, Lynn Manrique. Hi, this is Nancy Drew again. I called you before? Yes, of course. What can I do for you? I think I know what Noisette meant by red, left, green. Really? What? What kind of message? Let's just say I have the feeling it's eventually going to lead to the artwork that Noisette hid. Well, if it does... I'll call you. Good. Do you know anything about the M380 decoder? It's a machine that the Resistance is said to have used to encode and decode their messages during the war. To decode a message, the dials on it had to be in the same position as they were when the message was encoded. The famous Enigma machine operated in much the same way. Do you think Noisette ever used the M380? I would stake my reputation on it. What is the Enigma machine? The Enigma machine is what the Germans used to encipher and decipher their secret messages during World War II. Allied codebreakers were finally able to figure out how the machine worked, and as a result, some say the war ended two years sooner than it would have otherwise. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me. Call back any time. We didn't really find out anything new from there, though. Um, should we call our friends Bess and George? Uh, one, five, two, three, five, five, five. Four, four, six, eight. Hello? Me again. We're both on, Nan. What's up? Yeah, let's update them on the situation. Threatening letter. Oh, yeah. The thing with Heather. It turns out that one of the threatening letters Manette got was sent by none other than her own assistant, Heather McKay. You're kidding. Why would she do that? According to Heather, it was a spur-of-the-moment thing. She said she got so fed up with Manette one day that she did it to get back at her. She said she never intended to hurt her. Physically, at least. Do you believe her? I guess. Just be careful. Maybe Manette's wackiness is contagious. <laughs> it turns out that Dieter has a secret or two up his sleeve, especially when it comes to the old windmill that Manette's studio is in. What do you mean? What kind of secrets? Um... Okay, dating Minette because... His great-uncle Hans was a wartime boyfriend of Noisette Tornade. That's the woman I told you about, the one who owned the Moulin, the windmill, before Minette did. Do you think this Hans guy was in on the theft of that artwork that's been missing all these years? If he was, maybe he told Dieter where it's hidden. His great-uncle gave him this weird card that has all these eyes on one side of it and a drawing of a room on the other. Unfortunately, the uncle couldn't remember what any of it meant, Consequently, neither does Dieter, so he gave it to me to figure out. Dieter says that he's so smitten with Manette that he doesn't care about finding the artwork anymore. Smitten with her? She's such a head case. That's what he said. Be careful, Nan. Just because he said it doesn't mean it's the truth. Well, um... Might as well ask for a hint. I need a hint. We're listening. Okay. Uh... Oh, yeah. The, uh, JJ. Thing, and, um. Let's ask about the JJ thing. 
Zoom won't tell me about that symbol I saw in the passageway unless I get JJ to write, Zoo, my love, Jing. But she refuses to cooperate. Now what do I do? Maybe you can trick her into writing it. I got it. Play hangman with her. Yeah, because what does she do when you guess a letter wrong? She writes it down. So if you want her to write something <gasps> down without her knowing she's writing something down, guess what you need to do. All right. Thanks for your help. You bet. Bye. Oh, oh, that was the good one. Should we call the Hardy Boys as well? Let's. Um... I guess we're going to play hangman after this phone call. Frank and Joe, 1280. 555. Um, 4865. Hello? Hey, Joe. Hey, Nancy. What's going on? Oh. Well, I could use a hint. About what? Oh, yeah. It, this wasn't in the, uh, in the underground tunnels that we went into. Do you have any idea where I can get a bottle of Mouton Fouetté 1968, whatever that is? It might help if you checked out that symbol you saw in the passageway off Dieter's studio. Just watch out. That could turn out to be a real zoo. Or it could go quite swimmingly. Thanks, guys. You've helped a lot. You need a hint? We're your man. Men. I'll remember that. Bye. Okay, passageway. Symbol. So there's more in that passageway than, um, I realized. Let's play hangman. Forget something. Let's play hangman. Okay. You know the rules, right? Yep, I sure do. Great. Okay, I'll think of a six-letter word, and you try to guess what it is. Ready? Ready. So, um... It's zoo? Um... Z. Nope. You. My... Incorrect. Why? Love. L. O. Bingo! V. E. That's a winner! Was it? J, J, or Jing, Jing? I guess maybe Jing, Jing. J. No, Jing! I. Yeah, just Jing, not Jing, Jing. N. Nope. G. I wasn't even close. May I have that piece of paper? Sure. Want to play again? Maybe later. Anytime you want to play, just let me know. See you later. Okay. Uh, we've got 17 euros. May as well go and drop that off, right? And then we'll go see Dieter. That was such a good hint. And um, while we're at Dieter's, we'll check out the passageway again. Uh, where was it? Oh yeah, here. No? Yes? I think it was this. Une entrée, yeah. s'il vous plaît. Yeah, it was. So now so we you sure picked a weird drop-off place for that autograph. Now we have. Come on. There we go. And there was nothing else here. So let's go. And now, let's go see Dieter... Was it Rue de Bac or Hotel de Ville? Uh, 
I always forget which one was theater and... Oh, this is the other guy. Mademoiselle Drew, what is it now? I'd better get going. A tout à l'heure. Okay, so it was for the buck. Oh, he's in the dark room again. Mr. von Schwesterkrank, could I ask you something? Sorry, too busy. Okay, well, we'll check out the passageway then. Uh, the only thing is I have to do the clock thing again and I really don't like it because it's a speed kind of thing and I'm not very speedy. Set everything to three. Wasn't so bad. Okay, symbol. There was a symbol here, I do remember that. Was there? Was it when we go back this way? Why do I remember seeing a symbol here? Check out the symbol in the passageway. a spider but I don't see a symbol why do I remember there being one here though is it just am I misremembering is is that what's going on here Yeah, I did already enter. It was 19. How do I use this again? I guess I can't. Yeah, it isn't letting me look in there again. Maybe because I've already emptied it. Yeah, it's, it's not letting me open this again. So there's nothing further to do with that. Check out the symbol.
yeah, maybe I'm on the wrong track here. Maybe, maybe, um, maybe I need to look at the symbol somewhere else. Like, uh, the same symbol, just not in here. Yeah, I don't know. There's that little bit of, uh, I haven't tried looking up yet. It isn't letting me. Yeah, I've tried looking down and to the sides. Maybe I misunderstood the hint. I may have done. Yeah. So, what we found in the passageway Uh, do we... No, but in order to get the device, we need to get the bottle. Oh, and this is just the directions for uh, using the thing. Uh, so yeah. That's not gonna be it. Hmm. So, oh yeah, call zoo. Autograph. Um. Zulorin four five one four. Yeah. Write the autograph. That's finished. Uh, the machine. Yeah. Okay. So we need to call Zoo. Does Dieter have a phone we can use here? I don't see one. Let's maybe go back to the Moulin. We haven't been there for a while. See if anything new is going on. And use the phone. So yeah, we need to call Zoo. 010161. Four five six zero. Hello? It's Nancy Drew. Did you get the autograph? It is magnifique! You were wise not to try to fool me, Nancy. I know Jing's handwriting better than I know my own. So, here is what I know about that symbol. I call it the hazelnut because to me that is what it looks like. A noisette. Wait a minute. A noisette? Yes, yes. That is French for hazelnut. I have seen it in only one place in the catacombs. To reach this place, return to the catacombs and go to the skull where you left Jing Jing's autograph. Lift the top part of the skull and push the red button. That will open a secret passage that will lead you to the noisette. Great, thank you. But if you go there, you must be careful. The tunnel police, they are one problem. The tunnels, they are another. What do you mean? Some of the tunnels, especially near the Mouton Beverage Company, they are water... water filled with trees. You mean waterlogged? Ah, yes, yes, waterlogged. You must swim underwater to reach the place Ooh. where I saw the noisette. And the water is very cold. You will need a wetsuit. Good luck, Nancy Drew. You will need that too. <laughs> okay, so that's where we need the wets. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to just... Yeah, okay. So that's where we need the wetsuit. 
Um, hello? What's up? Well, I'll see you later. Okay. And Minette's probably not going to have anything new to say. So I guess we're going to the park. I think I'm going to color a couple of pictures and then see about getting us that wetsuit. We do need money for like uh, getting into the catacombs as well. It's good to have a little extra. Bonjour. What intrigues mademoiselle this time? Well, let's see. A wetsuit. Not just any wetsuit. Oh, it used to belong to a friend of the famous undersea explorer Jacques Cousteau. A friend who is said to have shared many adventures with him. For that reason, I sell it for 125 euro. I think one euro is a fair price. Even if that wetsuit leaked, which it does not, it will be worth what I am asking. 125 euro. I don't think I want it after all. What else tickles the fancy? Ah, uh, 125. I really don't want to buy anything right now. Very well. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Au revoir. That's a lot of pictures that need to be colored. Bonjour. What intrigues mademoiselle this time? I wouldn't mind painting another picture or two. Be my guest. Okay, so I'm thinking... I'll, um, do this off camera, and then I'll be back once I have, like, uh, once I have painted, like, ten of these or something. So, uh, see you in a bit. Okay, now this is going to be painting number ten. I can't believe they had me do this. The most boring thing ever but uh, luckily by now um I don't really even need to look at the model in order to know what color goes where so uh, this goes pretty smoothly now we just gotta do this and the greens. Monsieur, how's this? Another fine job. Here is your money. Do you wish to paint another? If I never have to paint another... Not right now. Maybe later. Later, yes. Now you buy something. I'll be very happy. How much do you want for this wetsuit? 125 euro. I'll buy it. Vendu. What else tickles the fancy? Well, I mean the code thingy, but you won't sell it to me, so... I really don't want to buy anything right now. Very well. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Au revoir. Okay. Let's go and, uh... Get out of here and uh, into the catacomb or catacombs. We'll check out this passageway. Un entrée. So, do we need to like put this on? I get danger high voltage. No, je ne suis pas d'accord. Pourquoi? Parce que les ovnis n'existent pas. Mais l'absence de la preuve ne prouve pas l'absence. Avec cette logique, il y a un uh -oh. monstre dans ce coin-là. Quoi? Oui, il y a un monstre vert. J'ai resté là. 
Vous allez uh -huh. avoir des problèmes maintenant. <laughs> Teenage trespasser. Okay, so I have to avoid the cops and find the thing. That is one sweet ride. Répète, Fabrice. That is one sweet ride. Oh, plus d'anglais, Jean-Claude, ça m'énerve. Practice. It makes perfection. Dis ça. I'm totally done with that, dude. Dis donc. Oh. Je vous arrête. Um, where did he say we needed to go? I think I need to read the thing again. Oh, oops. No. We want the second chance. And, um... Okay, so it doesn't. Pense. I am thinking. Insupportable. Attends. Mais qu'est-ce qu'il y a? Il y a quelqu'un là. Restez là. Uh oh. I didn't realize they'd. I didn't realize they'd find me there. Uh. So it didn't exactly say which way I need to go. Um, this was a dead end, right? Okay, so couldn't go this way. Vous allez avoir des problèmes maintenant. Okay. So that's not the way to go either. I guess you you do have to go there to um avoid the police, right? I mean, you can't just Non, je ne suis pas d'accord. Pourquoi? Keep going that way, right? L'absence de la preuve ne prouve pas l'absence. Avec cette logique, il y a un monstre dans ce coin-là. Quoi Oui, il y a un monstre vert, gigantesque, avec les dents. Dit-on. Oups. Ne bougez pas. So, was there a little door there? So, when you go this way, did I see a little door? That is one sweet ride. Oh, plus d'anglais, Jean-Claude, ça m'énerve. Practice. No, I didn't. It makes perfection. Dis ça. Where do I go? I'm totally done with that, dude. Dis donc. Je vous arrête. Hmm. I may need to look at the, um, walkthrough to know where to go because I'm sure I could figure it out just by wandering around a little, but um, I think I'd rather avoid more wandering and getting arrested over and over and just look at the walkthrough to see um, where exactly I need to go there. So I'll be right back. Okay, so it's not that we have to outrun the police, it's that we have to hide from them. And now, once, uh, once that uh, police approach text is gone from here, we can uh, go here. And I think it was, was it turned non, right? Je ne suis pas Parce que les ovnis...
Alright. Well, it's time to put on the wetsuit. Hope it's more comfortable than it looks. Right, so the walkthrough said, like, uh, when you when you get the police approach thing. Oof, this place is crawling with four-legged vermin. Hope they leave my stuff alone. So yeah, when you when you get the police approaching thing, just go back to the dark room. <gasps> okay. There are several routes we can take here. And apparently we're on a time limit. Our oxygen will run out at some point. Can we just go to the surface? Uh -huh. There we go. Did we make it? We didn't... Oh. We were in the middle of an animation though, and there was the arrow pointing up, so I guess we almost made it. I'm going to try that again, and this time I'll see if I can go fast. <gasps> Just, you know, forge ahead. Do not stop to take your time because you're on a timer just there we go but are we back <gasps> no we're somewhere new right This isn't back where we started, right? Ah! A rat! No, it is back where we started. Ah. So that wasn't the way to go. Because, yeah, our stuff was here and, yeah, this is back where we started. So, I'm going to try and find the way again. Apparently, that was not the way to go. <gasps> but we do have several different places where we can go here so yeah what if we we're already already running out of air <laughs> or like um <gasps> not really running out of huh only way we can go is down. Okay. <gasps> Where to from here? It's like a maze. I may have to look at the walkthrough for this. much longer. 
Okay, okay, fine. <gasps> and this is going to lead us back to where we started, yeah. I think I'm going to take a look at the walkthrough as to what exactly it is we're going to do here because for some reason I find this underwater maze thing confusing. I really dislike mazes anyway, so I'll be right back once again. Okay, I've got the walkthrough open here. So down forward one, right, <gasps> forward three, right, forward one, forward one, right, one, two, three, right, and uh, there we go. And then turn around. One, two, three, and then up. <gasps> Alright, cool. And now then, we've got another thing we need to do. We need to go down, left, forward one. <gasps> down, left. Forward one, left, forward one, left, forward one, right, forward two, right, uh, forward one, left, uh, forward two, right, um, forward one, left, one, two, three, four, and left, one, two, right, one. I think we were just, <gasps> yeah, just in time to reach this. And then, uh, then actually, we don't need to go down again. So from this point forward, we should be fine. I think maybe I'll save the game here just because, you know, we're fine at this point. And uh, we'll continue from here in the next episode, just in case... Uh, something comes up that will I mean there's always going to be the second chance if uh, if something comes up and it's came over but I think I'll end this episode here anyway and we'll explore up there in the next one so for now thank you so much for watching and spending a little of your time with me here today it was lovely to have you. Please remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I will see you again next time.